Hey everybody, Light here and in today's video, we're going to check out iOS 11.2 Beta 3 on the iPhone SE. But before we go into Developer Beta 3, let's check out some changes I forgot to mention in Beta 2. So that is in the Apple Wallet application. If you open that thing, you would see here a new pass for Apple Pay Cash. And if you could go ahead and use this feature if it's available in your country. And also, if you try to move your iPhone using this thing, you can see it slightly changes its color and that's a nice add-on to the Apple Wallet application. And also, if you try to run some benchmark tests on the iPhone SE, we would get a score of around 2516 for single core and 4359 on multi-core. And if we compare it to the comparison chart, and let's just use the iPhone 6s, I guess, for the reference because they're just using the same A9 chip. As you can see right here from Apple's site. And going back here, you can see how it's slightly higher than the iPhone 6s. And if you go to multi-core, as you can see, it's also slightly higher than the iPhone 6s. And also, if we run an intuitive benchmark test on the iPhone SE, we would get a score of 120,703. Also, I'm just going to put all of the test results in the description box below. So let's go ahead and update this iPhone to Beta 3 and let's check out what are the changes in Beta 3. So now here in Beta 3, if you go ahead and open Control Center, and if it's your first time to actually disable setting, you would get this type of message saying like, for instance, disconnecting Bluetooth accessories until tomorrow, currently connected accessories will be disconnected and other accessories will not connect. Bluetooth will continue to be available for Apple Watch, Apple Fence, and personal hotspot and handoff. So it's kind of like explaining what's actually happening. And also you get this white icon when it's disabled. And also that goes the same for Wi-Fi where you get a message disconnecting nearby Wi-Fi until tomorrow. The current Wi-Fi network and other nearby will be disconnected until tomorrow. Wi-Fi will continue to be available for airdrop, personal hotspot, and location accuracy. And also if you go inside settings and you turn on a you turn off a specific setting, that's the only time you get this gray icon. However, if you turn on that setting in control center, it would also reflect on the settings. So here we turn on the Wi-Fi and now if we go inside the settings application, you can see it's now turned on. So here is how it looks like when all the settings are turned off. You can see it's gray and if we turn it on, it's now blue. And if we disable those settings, that's the only time it would turn white. Also running some benchmark tests on the iPhone SE, we get a slightly higher score from having 2,516, now we have 2,527, and before we have 4,359, and now we have 4,396. Also running and to do benchmark tests on the iPhone SE, we get a score of 113,499, which is slightly lower than the previous beta, which is around 120,703. Also, while I was just about to upload the video, I seem to notice one more change here in Beta 3. Remember on my previous video on Beta 1 in which when you double press the lock button, it would not lock your iPhone? But now on Beta 3, when you do that, that would now lock your iPhone, as you can see. So that is it guys for iOS 11.2 Beta 3 on the iPhone SE. And always remember guys, this is just a beta and Apple will still continue to improve and do some bug fixes on the future betas. So that is it guys, as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.